Um, today I'm going to tell you the story behind my emo hair and how I get my emo hair. Um, well, most people ask me how do you get your emo hair, um, but I didn't get my hair from one day to the another day. Uh, I kept my hair improving every day and for months long. And yeah, today I'm going to show you my hair evolution. So this is the story behind my emo hair and how I got my emo hair. I don't actually can remember when I first saw emo hair, but I can remember when I was 14 years old, I was playing Movie Star Planet. And I love playing Movie Star Planet. And I had a lot of emo friends on Movie Star Planet and a lot of emo hair pictures were going around and videos about emo hair and actually I felt in love with it. And actually I felt in love with the whole emo subculture. I had still normal hair and I dressed normal because I was too afraid to dress in a different way because I was too shy. But I totally loved the emo style and I love the hair and I was searching for pictures for it and tutorials. But yeah, I was dressing my Musa Planet doll like an emo but i didn't do it myself yeah i felt in love with the hair and i was really curious how to get such big emo and fluffy emo hair so i was searching for a lot of tutorials with my normal hair and i was watching how they teased it and i wanted to do it myself so in secret I was practicing to do my emo hair but I still had normal hair but I was practicing in secret so nobody saw it because I liked it but I was still was too afraid to show it other people and I was too shy and I was not sure enough of myself to dress emo and I was still hiding myself I think my little sister was very important for my emo hair because I still was too shy but one day my little sister wanted to dye her hair from beneath black and when she was doing her hair and she dyed her hair black I saw it and I was very jealous of her and I was very inspired by her and I wanted to do my hair too and my sister gave me the strength to dye my hair for the first time because she did it too and because of her I was brave enough to take the step to dye my hair too and I wanted that kick too so because of my sister I wanted to dye my hair too so I made an appointment with the barber but she said I don't miss do colors, so she bleached my hair from beneath. But when I saw the result, I was very disappointed because my hair was blonde from from beneath. But I thought it was just too normal, and I just didn't feel a kick, and it was too normal, and I was very disappointed and sad because I wanted to change my hair and this wasn't, wasn't enough for me. Yeah, I was very disappointed how my hair looked and how normal the change was and I didn't saw any difference and I wanted to dye my hair extreme because I want to feel a kick and I didn't feel that so I was very sad about my new hair and I was very disappointed and my mother now knew it, so she made an appointment with a special hair dye barber. Uh, and to make my hair blue and black. And when I was there, I also asked if they could cut my hair in an emo style. So I was showing their pictures of emo hairstyles, so they were putting my hair in an emo way too. After I was 
go through this barber and my hair was colored. I also changed my clothing style. The first time after I cut my hair by this barber, I was also very disappointed by the look, how it looked. And I thought it didn't look emo enough and I was again very disappointed so my mom wanted to cut my hair so I gave her instructions to cut my hair emo enough but months after months she did this every time Ali was disappointed so I kept improving my hair and my mom was improving it and months went by and in the meantime I was practicing teasing my hair because I wanted of course my big emo hair so I was watching tutorials and practicing a lot one day I asked my mom to do my hair again because it has to be cut again but this time my mom made a miss cut and I was very disappointed in it and it was not what I want so I decided to cut my own hair because I am the only one who can cut my hair in the way how I want it because if I let other people cut my hair then they can do it wrong and I'm the only one who knows how to do my hair and how I want it so I decided to cut my own hair and that's where I learned more about my own hair and that's how I improved my emo hair much more than I did before I also have experiments with a lot of colors I've dyed my hair in many colors always with black but I've also do black with pink and black with orange just in many colors and different ways but one day I did my blue black emo hair but I never changed it again because this felt like me and felt like this, this was my image and this was my hair so I like to keep the blue black emo hair and that's how I got my emo hair. Well this was how I got my emo hair and I'm very proud of it and I still think I'm improving it but I'm very proud of it so yeah that's how I got my emo hair so I didn't got it from one day to the another day. There's a whole time era behind my hair and a whole story so I hope this inspires you and gives you hope to get beautiful emo hair too. Well this was my new video so bye!